Well, what do I got here for you today? Let's go with an Eco Guard. Got a nice little covering on it. I don't know much about these. Haven't used one before. But uh, I'm supposing they're good. Let's look at the box here. Let's see. Um, what is it here? I think they're made in China, which is fine. A lot of things are. A lot of things are really good that are made in China. So I don't see any reason like that last filter I did. Excellent filter. Made in China. Well, at least that's what it says. But this one, designed for the service professional. So, yes, made in China says right there. So I'm going to get her cut open. I like that they have these little little flaps on them so they don't get you know dirt in them looking inside yeah it looks pretty good in there and uh, looks like a filter but let's get her cut open and see how good it is hopefully it's not too thick but isn't too thin either as uh, thin ones don't last very long Oh yeah, you can see me. Good. I'll just move her over here a little. Ooh, she's slippery though. That's a slippery canister. If that had oil on it, oh my word. That is like a really neat paint job on there. It's like a really good paint job. It's thick paint, I can tell. So... Well, I'm going to pause you until I get this one open, because you've seen me do it before. So, pause. All right, she's starting to cut through now, so... Yeah, she is cutting through. Let me back off a little here. And sometimes this thing... Back off. Come on. A little. Come on. Sometimes this thing doesn't work as good as it should. Uh, because they're too tight. Or, it's not in there right. Okay, well there we go. I can tell you already, it's got a good spring in it. Hmm, a very good spring, because it sprang up. So, Let's give her a look. You know, this one could be just the same as the last one. It's got the same kind of build structure. Wow. It just feels like one company in China makes all these, and then they just slap names on them. So, let's take a look. It certainly looks like it's the same. Uh, well, that is rubber. That is definitely rubber this time. That is not any neo nitrile or silicone. That is a definite rubber. It's very, uh, it's not very flexible. And the plate, well, the plate is half decent, I would say. Uh, well, that is held in very nice too. So, yeah, the uh, ceiling ring held in pretty good. It's uh, just a normal rubber ceiling ring, so nothing special. But it does hold in very well because they, they crimp them here. It's got crimps and it uh, held them good. And how many threads? Four threads. It's not the thickest of metal. And the case wasn't actually that thick, I thought. It was medium thickness, which is the kind I like. But yeah, this is not very thick. For the base plate metal. Uh, let's go with, it's got the real spring, so that's a good thing. Now let's take a look at this. Hmm. No, it does not seem as well built or like the last filter. Um, let me grab a pen here so I can check this uh, release valve. 
Wow, that thing has got a lot of pressure on it. Wow, I don't know if you could... Could oil pressure really push that back? Yeah, probably. It just needs to go back a little to move oil pressure, right? But, uh, yeah, I would say it's got uh, brown glue. I can tell it's got a cheaper filtration than our last filter. It is much cheaper. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give her a cutoff and we'll take a good look at it and see how well the filtration is. All right, I'm back and I have the filter cut off. And the good part about this filter though, it does have a metal strip holding the filtration together, but I don't think it really matters since this filtration is not really the best. And it had had spots like this, like, very close in some spots and then very wide in others so um i don't know probably hampers the oil filter from doing its job fully so uh, it's probably not the best to fil filter out all the particles that need to be and something might get clogged up in it in those tight spots so, let's take this off. I can tell you right now, this is a very thin filtration, very light. But it's got the normal same tube as some of the other ones I've seen with the uh, big holes in the middle. But uh, this, this is great. This, well, not so good. We're... Uh, it's, it's not the thinnest filtration I've seen, but it is actually not as good as some of the other cheaper filters. This one does rip pretty, pretty easy, but it's not as thin as some that I've reviewed already. But, uh, yeah. Um, would it work? Yeah, it would work, but I wouldn't leave it on your vehicle for... 10,000 kilometers or 5,000 miles I would change this filter out if you do like early oil changes on your vehicles because you want them to last then yeah you change the filter out but if you're like a normal person it just gets one of these slapped in I could I could see these being used at quick oil change places because they're cheap these are very inexpensive filters so I could see a quick loop place using these and then slapping a sticker on. You don't need to get it changed again for 10,000 miles and this thing would never last. But the case, eh, it's medium thickness. Medium thickness and it's not terrible, but it's not great. So after all, it does have some good points to this filter. Spring is awesome. Uh, filtration kind of a little thin uh, but uh, probably does what it's asked to do and uh, this is really good case is yeah it's pretty good I like it even the base is really good the uh, ceiling uh, for the base is decent uh, this is rubber but you know most cars nowadays have their filters put on like upside down most of them do like a lot of them and a lot of cars coming out today just use paper cartridge filters but luckily we still have some that take these uh, type of canister filters so that's actually uh, not a concern for me if I had a uh, rubber or anything because most of my vehicles all the filters always go on like this so doesn't really matter about an anti-drain back valve really because the oil will just stay in the filter anyways so uh would i use this on my vehicle uh, no i wouldn't use this on my vehicle and uh like i said there's better filters out there that are about the same price or cheaper and uh i would use one of those uh Honestly, this, this would be, it has some good points, good point, good point, but honestly, um, 
no, this one is just a cheap filter and it's an EcoGuard and it's probably, it says here, premium oil filter. I don't think it's premium, but we've seen some premium oil filters that were just like this. Talking to you, mobile one. <laughs> yes, so I would not use this. I'm going to give it a soft fail and uh, just for the filtration. If it was everything else, it's fine. But for the filtration, yeah, I probably wouldn't use it. All right, thanks for watching.